Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Well, hello everyone, and it's Dr. Me, world's number one ancient mystery expert by far. More than everyone else times 10, times 100. Let's make it times 100,000. Yeah, we can do that. But the point of this video uh, is to show you um, that there is a, a type of join here. Type of join here that hasn't really been covered, I don't think, in other videos. It's quite interesting. And, uh, you know, I've had so much coffee and it's 2.13am, uh, I can't seem to sleep. Uh, had a nap earlier, I can't sleep, so just have to make this video, you know. And we're going to analyse this photo and two other very old photographs. And it seems to me that there is stuff going on in these photographs that no one else talks about. You know, these, these photos are so old, they, they could have been uh, done by Hiram Bingham, Bingham or they're or they're from the Nat Geo from the 20s or something. I don't, I don't know where they're from. I uh, just found them online. But, uh, you know, they're, they're just absolutely ancient, but they reveal a lot of uh, interesting stuff that's happening here. So, it, it, are we looking at religion? Are we looking at some pool of water here? Uh, what, 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 this thing here, just for collecting water. We know there are tunnels and passageways. Look here at this join. Very, very interesting join right there. Look here at these joins here. Very interesting. It's almost like something slides down into whatever the heck uh, is going on there. And uh, there's more stuff going on because look here, these steps have just broken. Break, 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 break. Now, uh, I don't think stones like this are just going to snap in half. What the hell happened? Did it, uh, did something collapse from here and did it roll down the steps and smash those stones? Uh, what's going on with that? That's quite interesting. Um, now, I, I, this is, and this is, yeah, so I'm so interested in this because that is really what I wanted to show you right there, that type of join. It's like, a, we'll call it a zigzag join, and it's not really been seen before. And then we see it even, even more. Like, let's see if I can make that a bit bigger and just scroll up. And uh, let's, oh, it, it's a high, it seems to be high res, pretty high res for its era. That's quite interesting. Okay, there's something funny going on with that join there. Um, yeah, the zigzag join is very interesting. What else can we see here? Let's, let's move over here. And um, yeah, let's move up a bit. Let's move up a bit. We're going to see something. We're going to see, well, we've got these for starters, which are quite odd. Um, Okay, so what are they doing there? Now this is, um, this is some, if this is a join, what, what are they doing here? Are these recesses to put idols in? Uh, what's happening here? You know, it's almost like Yonaguni, isn't it? But it's uh, a bit more, uh, obviously a bit more man-made than Yonaguni. Um, you know, this is really puzzling. Um, uh, what's going on up here? Um, so we've got, you know, what, you know what, Brian Forster, you know, I'm gonna turn into Brian Forster. I'm gonna say, Inca. Pre-Inca. That explains everything. But, um, you know, uh, there, there's so much going on here that we just can't explain nothing. It, it's just so tricky and, and, and complicated. So I'll show you the next photograph. So there's another photograph, very old picture. Uh, quite low res. And it looks like um, an explorer. You know, he's got the, the old helmet. And uh, just a beautiful wall. You've got precise stones here and very odd looking stones there. The Inca stones. Um, very interesting. And let's look at the final photograph. Um, this here. And that is a kind of Machu Picchu panorama, which is rather interesting. It's rather low resolution. Um, and, and here we just see a lot of different things hap uh, happening all at the same time. So we see very uh, big blocks here, um, down there, almost like a bit like Solomon's Temple. We see small, and on top of that level we see smaller blocks, also very precise. And it's like they've been capped off by the, the, the Inca stuff. And here we have a, a stone, it, 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 it's, it's, I wish we had more resolution, but it, it's sort of knobbed. It, it's almost knobbed. It, 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 it's like, it's, it's almost like something from Stonehenge. That stone there is very curious to me. 
And in addition, we've got these old, um, these things here, these, uh, these Inca things. But over here, we've got a round tower, uh, which is quite interesting. I can't remember any round tower at Machu Picchu, um, a bit odd. We've also got the terracing for the farming, I suppose, or uh, that's just terracing. That's not for farming, just terracing. And um, possibly a temple on top. You know, this is the most curious site ever. It's, it's, it's just so fascinating. These are not windows because they're blocked off. What's going on there? Uh, this is uh, really interesting, guys. Really interesting. I, you know, I hope... Uh, and, uh, and, and some of these blocks absolutely enormous. You have absolutely enormous. Look, mixed with... Look, so you got the polygonal, the epic polygonal here. So this is maybe the oldest, the epic polygonal. And then you've got this stuff here, which looks just like big blocks. And then you've got precise stones, which is a different civilization. And then you've got something else. Then you've got the Inca stuff here, or whoever inherited the site. So you see the site's been used over and over and over and over and over. Uh, quite extraordinary. But yeah, the main thing I wanted to show you guys was, was this, 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 this here. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, with that. That is a kind of hinge stone or something. Yeah, you know, I could look at this photo for hours. It's just so fascinating uh, to see what, what's going on here. Um, and it's all higgledy piggledy. Is it earthquakes? Has it been shifted out of position? Anyway, guys, what do you think of that? And yes, what do you think of the new join? And let me know. Cheers. And just a little bit more people, and here is a dilemma, because uh, here we see the uh, the crummy Inca stuff below the better stuff. What's going on? Uh, bit weird, isn't it? Uh, and here we have some snakes it's in uh, uh, Inca walls in uh, Cuzco. Um, a bit weird, isn't it? Notice how the snakes are decorating the door, I guess protecting the door. Um, and that is one almighty door. So there's the actual door, you can open the whole thing. So this is quite interesting, isn't it? It's sort of like, I mean, why would you do this? Is, is this like a small door for one person or a big door for what, horses? A man on a horse maybe, or for a, a tall person, hey? For a very tall person? Or for a procession, it's, it's, it's obviously a nobleman's house or para, uh, palace or something like that. What I'm not getting is why there are these things here, these things there and there. Looks to me like it's covering a, another type of... It's covering, it's been placed on top of something else. Um, so three, we've got three snakes there, a couple snakes there. Very interesting. Uh, that's Spanish stuff. It looks like a couple um, seahorses, two seahorses. Very Spanish, very Spanish. Up here, very nice stones, well dressed. Not even quite sure if we can call them polygonal. Maybe they're just Spanish, uh, except for a little bit of stuff going on there. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, very interesting indeed. Yes, you know, it's really funny how they can mix up, you know, that with, uh, they always have these little pebble-like stones down the bottom. It's uh, just so curious, isn't it? Anyway, guys, cheers. Uh, now, do you know what? I've written a couple books. One of them is probably the best ancient astronauts, one of the best ancient astronauts books ever written. It's called Confessions of the Gods. Check it out, Kindle or paperback on Amazon. And also a Pyramids book. The Pyramids book is basically, well, it's, it's 137 photos of sites you can visit in Europe, which are prototypes of pyramids. That's an amazing book. It's much deeper reading than the uh, other book, Confessions, but check them out on uh, Kindle and paperback. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. And also hit me up on Patreon. Cheers. Bye-bye.